Hey guys, and welcome to the vlog. This is Holly from the future because I didn't film an intro to this vlog. I'm so sorry. The first clip I have is off my rand. I think I wasn't really going to vlog. I was like, oh, am I doing too many show vlogs? Blah, 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 blah. But that ended up being quite an interesting one. So I said, mm, yeah, I should vlog this. <laughs> this is definitely one for the memory. Um, for me personally, I actually am completely sad and I rewatch my really old YouTube videos to like reminisce and look back on like shows with old horses and stuff. So this one's for me guys. <laughs> but basically I'm bringing Cal and Dali to Cavan. It's their summer championship show. It's a senior and young rider show. And it's a three day show, but we just go up Saturday and Sunday. So the first clip you see is from Saturday. Dali is jumping the 120 and the 130 on the Saturday and Cal is jumping the 135. So Cal in the 135 is definitely one that I want to place, like I want to do well in that one because that's very much our comfort zone at the moment. Um, he's just, yeah, finds it very easy and we can go for time and do have fun in the jump off. So that's the goal with him over the weekend. There's two 135 Grand Prix, one on the Saturday and one on the Sunday. So he jumps both of those. And then with Dali, so two weeks ago, he had a little bit of a bad show in that he got a bit of a fright in the in the warm up and I ended up retiring him because he was just jumping up in the air. It was not working. Last weekend, he that was in the 125. Then last weekend, he just stepped down a little bit to actually jump a six, seven year old qualifier, which was 115. So it was perfect. So he jumped that and the 120 and he was double clear in both his rounds. He was really, really good, really rideable. So it was time to step back up to 130. So he jumped the 120 and the 130 on the Saturday. And, you know, it's a bigger show, bigger atmosphere, spookier fences, really nice arena. So it was just a little bit of a step and it was just interesting to see how he would manage it. I was actually just a little bit not like nervous, but just a little bit like anticipating, mm, don't really know how it's going to go. I just need to ride really well. And that was the main thing. So yeah, I will let you see how that first round. So the first round you're going to see is Dali in the 120, then Dali in the 130 and then Cal. I'll do some voiceovers just so it's interesting. So yeah, I will let you watch the rounds and then the rest of the vlog from the show. Now next in Holly Lenehan. Holly is riding Delavan Flush. This one is owned by Holly herself. By Van Gogh out of the mare by Clover Flush. Okay, so the first round is Dali in the 1 meter 20. We were actually a little bit late, um, so his warm-up was very rushed, but he was very happy with how he jumped despite that. So he popped over the first fence there. Um, he's always a little bit slower to get his change from left to right so that's just something we're working on this was six strides and I was happy with this you know I was he really came back to me easily there was no kind of row or fight or anything he just came back and then I was able to ride him forward the last stride to the oxer very happy with this double got a really nice stride off the corner and then it was a bending seven stride or seven or eight strides to an oxer and then five strides to this little vertical so again you know, the rideability is so there now. All these strides are very easy to get. There's no, you know, him pulling me down, getting long. This fence, we had a really nice shot to it, but I don't know what he saw. He just jumped right up into the air. So then I kind of slipped my reins to not pull him in the mouth. And then I had not really <laughs> very nice reins for the, um, for the water tray, but he came back well. He was a good boy. So I shortened back up my reins, ride him down to this double, Give him a little tap on the shoulder for the oxer just because he had jumped into the air the previous oxer and just to encourage him to go across the fence and he was very good. And then there's just two fences left. This vertical met it nicely and then nine strides bending lying down to the final fence which was an oxer which he jumped very, very nicely. So I was very happy with this round. Um, couldn't fault it, um, especially with the rushed warm-up. Probably could have done with a bit more pace, a little bit more energy in the canter. But other than that, I was very, very happy. So Holly Lennon goes clear. Time, 46.28. 24 is next to go. This is Holly Lennon. Holly is riding Dalavan flush. 
So in the 130, I knew I wanted a little bit more energy in the canter. And I think you can see straight off the bat that there is. And as such, we get a much nicer jump. Like that jump over the, over the first fence was really lovely. So I come around the corner with plenty of energy to this vertical. He jumps it really well. And then I don't ride this next line very well. I kind of just let him trundle on down. I didn't get the flying change early. And then we ended up close and disunited to the fence that he, you know, spooked at a little bit the last time. So it was just silly riding on my behalf to be honest but then we come around to this line I think it's five or six strides six strides and then this is eight strides eight forward strides see he was on the wrong lead he gets to change a little bit late and just catches it behind because he's a little bit tense um because I had to push him forward for the eight strides but I feel like that was the better decision than trying to hold him and then getting underneath it especially when the double was an ox are going in. So this second half of the round is like the jump off part, but with Dali, I'm not going for, you know, placings or anything. I'm just going for a confident round. But I do do some inside lines. Like I come inside the flower pot to this double, just to practice doing a little bit of a tighter turn when I knew I had the four folds anyway, so it didn't really matter. And then we come around to the last. So again, you know, it was unfortunate to have that pole but I was very, very happy with them. My little spooky boys. How are you gorgeous boys? Dolly, come here. <laughs> you such cutie pies. So Dolly is all done for the day. Oh, he does that. He pulls the thing out of bed. And then we're all done, help it. Come on. Come on. Like stuck. I'll put up a letter. So Dali was just super. Just really, really, really happy with him. We had one little mistake, little green mistake, and cost us a pull in the 130, but the 120 was foot perfect, apart from one really big jump for no apparent reason. Yeah, the 130 was class. Really, really happy with him. So now it's just a little bit of waiting, and then it's time for Dali. Or, and then it is time for Cal in the 135 Grand Prix. Isn't that right, Sweet Pea? Mm. Yeah, he's a good boy. Um, we've been kind of lucky with the rain. It's kind of hasn't been super rainy for my actual rounds, but it's a very rainy day. It's currently rainy. So I'm going to go watch some show jumping in the indoor. What do you think, Dad? Good rounds? Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Really winning today. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to, yeah chilling indoor until my class starts. No, of course. Now, next to go, this is number 31. This is Holly Lennon. She is riding Kelly now. This one's owned by Holly. By Yusinov, out of a mare, by Clover Flush. So as you can see, the rain really set in for the Grand Prix um, for Cal's round. So he was very fresh because in the warm up he was, you know, super fresh and he was kneeing a lot to Dali and stuff. But he really kind of focused and started concentrating for the round, which I was very happy about because he was really quite distracted before that. So the first half is you have to go clear and then the second half is the jump off part. So that, that was six strides down there. And I wasn't overly thrilled with how I rode some parts of this. Um, two or three times, you know, Cal would give a bit of a jump and I would really kind of tip forward after the fence, which really annoys me. Like that after that oxer, you know, I just tip forward for a second, um, really trying to be better with that. And it is something I really focused on then on the Sunday. And after this oxer here, you see, I, he gives a good jump and then I tip forward and sure then it's three strides before I can sit him back up for the stride. So anyway, now the jump off starts and I come around to this water tray and on a nice forward stride, really, really unlucky here. He just barely touches the front pole with his hind legs. We just came in quite flat and fast and usually he's very careful, but we just didn't have luck on our side this day, but we keep all our turns tight. He would have came about eight, seventh or eighth on this time um, if we hadn't had the pole. And you can see there, I pulled to the last because 
I am just sometimes a whisk bag to the last fence and I do it again on Sunday, you'll see. But anyway, I need to practice that. I need to practice to just galloping down to the last fence and not pulling and going for the long stride. But one day I'll get there. <laughs> but very unfortunate I have one fence down, but he was very, very good. This weather is ridiculous. Cal has his winter rug on and it is in July. But it's just so cold and wet. He needed something a bit more waterproof tonight. Alrighty, I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> for more jumping. Hopefully not in the rain. Can we appreciate how bedraggled I am? I look like an actual drowned rat. This is not my best look. But I'm going to go home, well, go into my house now and have a nice hot shower and a cup of tea and go to bed. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold and wet. Anyway, um, tomorrow it's not meant to rain when I'm jumping. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, it is day two of the Cavendish vlog. It's very late in the day today. I've already ridden Mav, done some stuff with the mares. Yeah, it's actually what time is it? quarter past one, and I'm only just going down to get the horses in to get ready for the show. Because we're the last two classes today. Dali is jumping the one thirty. And Cal is going to jump the 135 Grand Prix today. So yeah, hopefully it all goes well. The biggest thing with Dali is just getting a really nice forward canter confident round. And hopefully he jumps as well as he jumped yesterday. And then with Cal, hopefully we get into the jump off phase again. And this time a quick clear would be very, very nice but we'll just have some fun with it and see how we go. So, yes, I'm gonna get them in now, give them a bit of feed, get them groomed up, and then we're gonna hit the road. Mum is also coming today, which is nice. And yeah, that is it really. Mav was really, really good this morning. I'm excited to share another update video with you guys soon. We're also gonna loose jump him next week, I think, so. That video will be coming, which will be quite fun. Daddy jumped two big rounds there yesterday, so I thought I'd give him some Magna Wave before we go while he eats some feed. You here? Just to make sure he's feeling perfect. Ready to jump one more round today, Daddy, that's all. Okay, boys are groomed. Also, don't laugh at his little fringe. I know he looks ridiculous. And Dali's also ready to go, and we're gonna hit the road. Yay! You coming, girl ladies? You coming? No, you're not coming. We go to a seven year old girl named that Holly owns. By Van Go, Mike Clover, Flush. Number 71, Holly Lennon. When mum comes, we go clear. 
She's the top groom, or sorry, trainer. Trainer. <laughs> I'm not saying groom. Dali was so good, even though I do kind of mess him up for the triple, but um, he was an absolute legend. Very, very, very pleased with him. He's only done a handful of 130s, so she goes straight in there, clear. Very happy. Now it's on to Cali boy. Cal is going to be on quite soon because the 130 is now basically over. And Cal is number 15. So, yeah. Okay. Mom's well, going to have a quick coffee and a Twix to, you know, get her energy back after all that training and everything and the pep talk. So, yeah. Catch you guys later. Well, we're going out to number 14 and in with us it is Holly Lenehan. This is Kalinov. The nine-year-old gelding that Holly owns is by Ustinov by Clover Flush and bred by Declan Nanahan. It's number 14 and Holly Lennon. And the final round of the weekend was Cal in the 135 Grand Prix on a Sunday. So again, the first round, he has first half he has to go clear, but I think he thought the jump off was still on from yesterday because he landed over that first fence and he kind of took off. Like he, went, he was like, oh, it's jump off. Like we need to go fast. And I was like, no, we have to go clear first and then we go fast. So he settled back down pretty easily and then he comes around, jumps nicely, jumps nicely over this oxer. Sometimes I'm not good at like big long runs to oxers like that, but I was very happy with how I rode to that. Then it was kind of an acute angle to a triple combination with kind of a long one stride and an oxer out up a hill. So a little bit of a scopier triple, but not really any problem to Cal. I was also a lot happier with how I was riding. I was sitting up a lot better over the fence. Um, it felt a lot better. This was an awkward bit of a lying where you kind of kind of turn back on yourself and then it's like a 90 degree angle to a double and then after this double the jump off starts so I cut in to this oxer then it's five strides to a vertical and then a tight roll back to the water tray you can see kind of get him going and then we meet that really nicely and then it's a kind of tricky turn back in that I think he wasn't sure where he was going. <laughs> Turn back to that ox we met really nicely. And then again to the last, I bloody pulled. I, I just need to start just riding for it. But of course, he's an absolute legend and jumped it clear. And we went into third place. After all 42 people had gone, we came fourth. Cal, you're a little legend. Mum, good, tr good training again. <laughs> He's currently in fourth, but we don't know if we'll quite hold on to top six, but we'll see. He was super. He's just chatting to Dali about all their good rounds now. Uh, fourth to Holly Lenehan. Coming off. Well done, Holly. <laughs> Look what you won! Well done! Oh, he's so clever. Hey guys, we are home. Look where my whip was for the whole hour and a half journey home. It was there. And it didn't even fall. And this is my favourite whip. <gasps> I can't believe it's still there. Very lucky. Very lucky. I like this whip. Oh, that's so funny. Anyway, we're home now. The boys are in their stables, having a little bite to eat. Aren't you? Yeah. And so it's Dolly. There he is. Good boy. <laughs> so, so happy. I'll do a full debrief probably tomorrow because it's late. I want to get them out, get them sorted. And go in and get into some pyjamas, I think. It is half nine, so a little bit late, but yeah, very, very happy. Hey guys, so end of the vlog. It's the day after the show now, it's Monday. It was such a good weekend, I'm so happy. We came home and had Prosecco really late last night because we didn't get home until quite late. And yeah, we just celebrated because you have to celebrate every little win, guys. This sport is just a roller coaster and you have so many bad days that you need to appreciate the good days for sure so yeah overall i'm really really thrilled with the two boys cal is kind of like i'm obviously really happy with him and cal like technically did better in that he, like, he placed and everything but i'm so happy with dali like 
yeah, I'm really impressed by him. There were some really nice jumps. I'm seeing like more glimpses of what's to come. Like he definitely, he so has it in him. Um, it's just taken time, but I feel like we're really almost getting there with him and it's very exciting. Like the rideability now is so good. Like all my strides, no problem, it's so easy. So yeah, it's feeling very, very good. So the plan going forward with the two boys is that next weekend, my parents are actually gone on holidays. So I'm gonna have to put my big girl pants on and actually drive the horse box because I have my lorry license and I would rather drive the lorry, but our lorry is out of commission. So we're driving the horse box and I'm not very experienced with the horse box. So I'm actually really nervous. Um, but anyway, it'll be fine. So I'm actually going to two shows just to really stress myself out. <laughs> On Saturday next weekend, I'm going to Mullingar for their summer league. It's actually the league final, but we haven't really been to many of the legs, so. I don't think we're very up on the um, leaderboard there but Dali is going to jump the 120 and the 130 just to again keep his confidence high keep this role going and then on the Sunday da sorry and then on the Sunday Cal is going to jump 140 yay national grand prix so very excited for that there's like quite a few 140s on in Ireland, but they've all been on grass recently and the weather's just been so bad, like so wet and the Cal doesn't have shoes on. So it just wasn't going to happen to jump on grass. This is the first 140 that I've been able to jump that's on sand that is somewhat nearby. It is actually at a show I've never been to before called Holly Park Stables. I think it's quite new to doing shows, but it looks really, really nice but is like two hours away and I've never been there. So mm, kind of just dreading the drive. But I feel like I'll be so nervous about the drive that I won't be nervous about the show. So it'd be perfect. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I'm very excited to jump some one, a 140 on him again and get back up the levels again. Cause as I said, the 135 is like, oh yeah, just tipping around. Like it kind of, I don't know what it is. I always want to, to my detriment maybe sometimes, I always want to push for like bigger fences. I always want to just jump bigger and harder and, get better so yes next weekend I'm very excited to jump the 140 and see how that goes so that won't be the next video I think the next video you're going to see is some loose jumping which is going to be really fun so I hope you're excited for that um and then I'll show you how the show goes with no parents and also no help I'm gonna have to try and find someone to help me warm up but anyway it'll all work out so I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, I'm just really happy to be sharing these good days with you guys. Hopefully more are in the future. And I, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.